Oh, yes it does. No, well, I don't know, it still feels the same, and I prefer Windows Borderless because it's just sexy. So let me put that back. I just, I like being able to alt-tab easy. But we have everything on high except for shadow quality on medium, grass density on medium, and vo foliage visibility on medium. Those are the things that impact the most, in my opinion. And of course, NVIDIA hair works off because this is horrible. I mean, it's good, but it's fucking, you know, scary, bad with performance. And then, of course, you have the post-processing, which most is on. Anti-aliasing is off because you don't really need it for this game. You don't really notice it. Sharpie on low, amulet occlusion on SSAO, and then everything else on. Yeah, I mean, I have three screens, so it's it's really good that I have, uh, what is it called on? The borderless window. It really helps, because I can do stuff on the other ones, like watch videos, and not have to worry about it, like, fucking take it a few seconds all the time. Okay, where are we going? I have to get onto the St. Gregory's Bridge. Wow, these, these, uh, these notice boards already restocked. I was already, like, I cleared these notice boards before, and they already have new quests there. That's interesting. Nope. Can we get through this? It looks like an ARD thing, but I don't think so. I'm gonna try it. Is this the door you open? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! It's a dead end! I'm sure there's something over here somewhere. Ah. For turning the second screen off, there for Mojin, minimal HD. Oh, it will HUD. Um, um, I like the immersion in this game, but like the thing at the bottom right, I can't even see that because my microphone blocks it. Like my uh, my blue snowball, so I really don't even care about that. But like, I don't know. I like being able to see what things I have equipped currently. And, uh, I mean, normally, like, you know, in Skyrim, my Let's Play, I have my HUD turned off most of the time, but I just turned the HUD on small in this game and, you know, ran with it. I like the HUD, honestly. I do wish you would, like, there was a button to disable it, or it would disable when you're not using it or something. That would be nice. But, you know, mods are a thing for this game. Eventually, once the, uh, the, um, mod kit's out, which there is one coming. And there's already mods out for this game. They're not amazing. I mean, they're not, like, high detail, you know, ones that increase amount of storms, change the XP rates, change the uh, markets. There are like a lot of mods that make the game easier. They're like, oh, let's up the amount of XP you get and like lower the price of things. It's like, really? Like, this game, you don't need that. Like, that kind of ruins the balance. If you want to make this game super easy, then go fucking do that. I guess easy difficulty is too hard for people who don't know how to play or something. Like, what? Like, why would you lower the difficulty or the XP rates? You have a GT GTX 750 Ti Superclocked, and I have noticed that having programs open and running cause more performance trouble playing the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Like, for instance, OBS takes a lot of CPU, but when I play this game with no CPU on, I still get bad FPS. Like, I still get the same FPS. I tested it without OBS, thinking it was OBS's CPU usage taking up the FPS. No. I still get 55 FPS with with OBS on or off. It's really weird. I don't know what's causing it, but, you know. It doesn't really bother me. 55 constant is fine. As long as it's constant. Constant's the main thing. Play this game on easy at least third... Yeah, exactly. I'm on third difficulty, too. I have another save where I'm doing Death March, and it's fun, but Death March, you have to rely on Quen a little bit too much, and I don't like that. At least this one, you don't have to rely on Quen, but Quen is very useful. And just the normal mode's too easy. Like, it's way too... You can just power through the game, and I don't want that. I just want to be able to... I want a lot of challenge. God, oh God, oh God no! Oh! Oh! You shitting me? It's down here. Where the fuck is this thing? Under the Temple Isles. Is it under the water? I don't understand what I'm looking for. It says go this way. I mean, up? What the fuck am I even looking for? Ah. Uh. Is this it? This might be it. Huh! <laughs> Holy shit, I found it! 
How long am I streaming? Uh, I'll probably stop here very soon, but I'm going to be streaming again later tonight. There's something here. We got an illusion. Need to use the eye. I like how there's a lot of these illusion things in the world. And like, well, if you don't do the main quest, you can't even find them. What the fuck is that? Is that a golem? Looks like a golem. Uh, excuse me, Gollum. I'm just gonna meditate here for a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Uh, wait. What's the Gollum week against again? What am I having? Fiends. Yeah. Oh, what? I don't have golems? What is a golem? Oh, it's a relic, isn't it? It's... no. What is it again? Fuck. Uh... I could have sworn it was a... an elementa. Pretty sure it's an elementa. Well, what's... Quen... yeah. What, what kind of mom is this? Dimaterium. The one that prevents magic? Huh, okay. Sure. Let's try it out. I mean, or I'd put on gargoyle, but still. Excuse me, sir. Why is my FPS so weird? Hello. Okay, Quen's gonna be very nice here. Oh my God, that hit me. Oh my god. I think Gollum's really slow. I was right, it was all I meant to. Oh, that's right, this is good against it. <sighs> Why is my FOV so fucking close to Geralt right now? This is really weird. Kind of obnoxious, too. Um, well, let's follow this first. Stop being so zoomed in, FOV. What is doing this? Am I playing the evil within here? What the fuck? Apparently there's something over here. Maybe that's just marking the area. Oh my god! What? Okay, I think I have something to do with those things. Don't touch those things. What's this? Hmm, what's this do? Wait, wait, wait. Don't click that yet. Interesting. Um. <laughs> fuck, it's a puzzle. This is such a terrible system. I wish there was a search bar, because, like, this is going to take a while to find these fucking research nodes. So useless, this research this search system. Is it? Cert I think it's sorted by, uh... Alphabetical? No, because there's a B. What the hell? I don't know. Dum, 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 dum.
I think it was actually a book, not a note. It was a purple book, too. Maybe a red book? Maybe a blue book? Holy shit, this is annoying. There it is. That's what I thought. As per the instructions of our supervisor, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Steingard, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, administering a poison made of fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital functions of all above mentioned specimens ceased, prohibiting us from continuing with the study. That really doesn't help at all. Thanks. That was creepy. Is that a wraith? It's a wraith. I'm gonna click a button. Miss. Oh, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Oh, that's a really low level wraith. I don't even need to be weird in. Here, I'm guessing just pull the levers until they're all facing outwards. Wait, that didn't do it. Why don't we just jump in the middle? Do I just die? Oh, do I have to pull it so they're all facing inwards? Let's do that. Inward sounds better anyway. Wait, there's something over here. Thank you so much for the follow. Apocalypse, I really appreciate it. I need to... I just realized an issue. I can't see my new followers with this block in my screen. There we go. Really appreciate it though, man. Serious recipe? Was this the one we just picked up? I wasn't really paying attention, I'm guessing it was. Um Yes, this is. Dear Pascal and Timo, I've got a bit of time between these treatments. I have to administer these stinking drowners. So as promised, I'm running you the recipe for my famous spiced chicken and pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, chicken thighs, or alternatively chicken breast. Mix of exotic spices. Well, that's really specific. Milk of the cocoa nucifera. Hard to get, but there's a ship from the Opikenberg and Sons Import Company that, improve, that arrives in Novigrad, Novigrad Port. First Wednesday of every month, and those guys sell everything. Stripped horse included. Striped horse. Remainder of the less is illegible. I'm sure you'll be able to figure out the process on your own. Good luck. MT. P.S. You owe me now. That's like the most vague recipe ever. It's like, here, here's half the ingredients, and... Well, fuck you. That's, that's just it. You get half the ingredients. I don't... What, what's the point? What do I do for this quest here? Do I just make it all face inwards? Is that like... Is that what I'm doing? I don't... I don't really, uh... I don't know. There's a lot of statues here, though. Why is my dog barking now? Holy shit. Oh my god. What is he barking at? I think he's barking because he can't get on the couch. I think it's turned the wrong way. Our couch, we have this like rotating chair. I don't, uh, yeah, he's, he's probably barking because he can't get on there. I'll be right back again. Got to do a little. There we go. You even done this one? Shit, I don't even know. Let's go run in and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was like a trap on the inside or something. Um. I mean, I made them all go down and that didn't do anything. <laughs> I had no idea. The research notes don't really help you out on this one, do they? Hmm. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I don't see a pattern. I don't see a... A solution. We set them all. If that doesn't work, then I guess we'll just leave. Well, I don't like how one of them's turned sideways. Maybe they're not supposed to be turned sideways at all. That's what my guess is over here. So I'm gonna turn this one straight. This one straight. And this one's straight. Let's see what happens. Nothing. I think they ought to be looking inwards, but some of them... Like, how do I make this one go inwards, then? I wonder if igniting this has anything to do with it. I'm gonna ignite that. Like, does that change the direction it moves? Oh, it dies! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, son! No, you know, extinguish this. Ah, ha, ha, there is the pattern. I think it face all inward. So, lighting the torches inverses the controls. So, I'm gonna use that. I probably shouldn't have done it like that. But whatever, I can do it this way. And I gotta put the torch out. And then you... I had a feeling it had something to do with the torches. Ah! I did something! Huh! <laughs> Holy shit! I can't believe I figured that one out! Um... Are there drowners down there? Yeah, it seems like it. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure how I even got that. I mean, well, I I just saw it's like the only thing that you can change, you know? There's nothing that's that's why there's like nothing here. So there's like one thing you can change and it's like, "Oh, that's it right there." That looks Get out of here. We have the key now, so I'm guessing this opens like the main passage. I never even went to the main passage. My guess is you couldn't have done it without this, though. Let's see. Before I go in here. Okay, what is that? Is that a burnt body? No oh, no, 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 that's a person. It's a, I think it's a, oh no, I thought it was a wizard. Or a mage, rather. What is he, just a possessed? Oh yeah, he has magic. He's got Quen. What's he like, go? Oh, he's the Witcher! He's the, he's the Witcher the cat armor's probably from. The Moonblade! Feline armor. I'm pretty sure this is a Witcher. That's why he had Quen. 
And yeah, this is the cat. This is a witcher school area thing, I think. I'm pretty sure the moon blades are a really good weapon. I heard about it on the Reddit. I never actually looked into it, though, because I don't like spoiling locations of things. But I heard about it. Like, it said, moon blade, awesome. And I, I didn't look into it, though. I don't even know what it does. It'll be something awesome. Can't. I can never get the stuff on those shelves. There we go. Okay. Mmm! 2% Yurden sign, 11% critical hit damage bonus, chance to hit, critical hit chance, chance to freeze. It's a silver sword. Wow, it looks like a, ra it has like a rapier guard. It's not a rapier, but it has a rapier guard. Looks like a rapier guard, at least. Wow, look at that! Wow, that's really cool looking. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. That was worth it. A chance to stagger might not be that good. Armor piercing, though? Yeah. I don't know about chance to stagger, though. So that's cool. That's this place cleared out relatively easily. Awesome. Our shim. Alright, so the feline armor. I guess I should look into that a little bit more. Is that like the entire set? Feline boots? Level 14 requirements, so I mean, it's close. Uh, what does the feline chest look like? Oh. It's a uh, just chest. What is it? Light? Does it say? Light gear. Okay. Okay. Attack power up. That's pretty good. This looks pretty good. I wonder if there is a weapon. Feline weapon, I don't think so. I don't think I got it yet, if there is. I didn't see it. Could have missed it, though. The harpy's so good. Is the heavy armor slowing you down? I got a heavy chest, I don't feel any difference. Um, am I wearing heavy armor right now? I don't think so. I don't think, well, it's, I'm wearing medium. It slows down your stamina regen. It doesn't really slow you down, it just slows down how fast your stamina regens, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Fuck it up. Oh. Gotta be something down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can't have random water in a cave without a chest. This face looks awesome. It's poison. Explosive. Yeah, that's right, level 7 rate. You weak. Invoice for a golem? What? Ugh. Day one, luckily the teleport deposits us directly in my laboratory. It's good to be home. I had grown sick of the gills of that leaky tub. I hope the storm I summoned smashed it into those craggy rocks off the grassy knoll shore. The experiments which my students conducted on drowners in my absence did not yield the expected results. As usual, I must do everything myself. I will administer a brew of medicinal opium to the subject. This milk of the poppy will keep the witcher in a stable half-consciousness. They're operating on a witcher! Or are they mutating one into like a better witcher? And thus incapable of any of its commencing studies. They captured a witcher and they're studying it. That's what it was. No, I must hold off my planned experiments while I clear up the demolished portion of my laboratory. I have set the bonus in the forearm of one of my assistants. I will now administer a quadruple dose of milk of the poppy to the witcher. Day 4. Subject shows incredible resistance to physical torture. Only broke after the second day of intense labor. Moderately satisfactory results from the interrogation. Garnered information about witcher training and the cat school of witchers in general. As I suspected, the cat school witchers are for the most part of elven stock. The school... 
must have some tie to the elder race appendium perhaps its founder was a member of the Ayan Sai. I don't know how to that subject unfit for, their, for further study I discontinued his doses of poppy day 7 administered extract of cowbane and hemlock in typical representatives of the human and Ayan I don't know I can't pronounce that since it's an elven species subspecies I guess such a mixture provokes paralysis of the peripheral nervous system and eventually of the nerve endings as well this results in muscular skeletal and pulmonary and cardiac paralysis and ultimately death through suffocation. The Witcher is not, however, a typical representative of any species, though his poison did not seem to cause mild irritation, sick, his nervous system, his mutated body quickly managed to neutralize the harmful alkal alkaloids. alkaloids. In a matter of hours, all symptoms of the poison I administered have vanished. Day 15. Sticking in with the sea wasp toxin did not provoke the expected results. In order to strengthen the toxin's effect, I must have poured ethyl alcohol into his wounds. His nervous system seems to be immune. Day 26. The subject has been tortured, poisoned, burnt, frozen, starved, and dehydrated, but and despite all of his body, and despite all, his body continues to function. He eats and drinks by himself, moves about his cell and, and on his own, and is able to articulate, uh, articulate simple words. Please drink, don't hurt, stop. Conclusion, as I suspected, the Witcher is a superb energumen. I don't know what that is. A demon trapped in such an excellently prepared body will become death incarnate. But, oh, vengeful wrath, I see now. And placed at my command. No one has succeeded in creating such a power such a power since the malice spin of Alzur. This is a great day for science. Time to begin the incarnation incantations. So it's a Witcher. They captured a Witcher. And he's a necromancer, and he was trying to summon an evil spirit, and that's, I guess, that's what we killed. The fuck? It's weird. Issued by Jehuda Lo Persier. I don't know how to pronounce that name, Steingard. Goods purchased, Guardian Golem. Clay, porcelain. Warranty, in the event of damage to the ceramic, please report immediately to the nearest branch of Jehuda, Jehuda, Jehuda Lo and Apprentices. The golem can only be serviced by qualified company personnel. So we killed a clay golem. That's crazy! <coughs> we have to find the flying stag ship if we want to get the rest of the stuff here. That's so crazy! Oh my god, that's so awesome. I love this story, that's so cool. I mean, it's not cool that a witcher was captured and tortured and was meant to be turned into a... A demon possessed witcher, but it's still cool how like all this kind of came about, or that this is just a thing. It's cool. Now the fun part, getting back onto land, again. Where does this path lead? Does it go back up? And I just missed it when I was up there. I guess so. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, it goes right up. Wow, I'm an idiot. That's okay. That's that's so crazy though. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hello, witch hunter. All right. Um, I think I think we're good. For now, I think I'm going to actually stop the stream for now. And later tonight, we'll probably continue doing some more Witcher quests. So maybe I'll go get these, this cat school gear. Because this cat school gear looks like it's my next upgrade at level 14. Which I'm one level away from. Well, I'm I'm 500 XP from. So a few more quests and then I can wear this stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys later tonight when I play more of The Witcher 3. But that'll be it for now. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.